Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday morning, like 9.20. Yeah. We had a lazy day. We stayed in bed for a while, but we are up now. I'm entertaining him here with this toy, hopefully for a while. He keeps dropping it, of course. And I'm boiling some water for tea and also making some oatmeal over there. And then once I put some food on the table for me, then I can also feed him at the same time. So he's just waiting. Um, and this is what I look like right now. So obviously I'm not ready for the day yet. <laughs> I will get ready eventually. Um, but first I want to insert a little clip because yesterday it wasn't a vlog day, but I took a few little videos anyways, so I'll just put them in right now, and you can find out why. Ronan and I just woke up from a two-hour nap, and we looked outside. The most wonderful thing has happened, you guys. It's the first snow of the year! Woo! Usually I'm not that big on snow, to be honest. I just, I know I'm a Mainer, but... It's so cold, and it gets dirty really quickly, and you have to shovel it out of your driveway, and it makes your socks wet sometimes, but... The first snow, and probably the first week of snow, is wonderful and beautiful and magical. And Ronan had never seen it before, so when he looked out the window, his mouth was like wide open, literally. He was just staring at it. So I'm about to see the dogs out, and I'm going to record Ronan in his first snow. I don't know how he'll take it. I hope he likes it. It's going to get all up in your hair. You ready? He's just really distracted by the puff that's on my hat right now. But we're going to do this. The puppies are very anxious and ready. Bronx here is probably planning an escape, but I hope he doesn't because he won't even like it. And I have some towels right there for when we come back so I can wipe them off because they're gonna get crazy wet in the snow. They might even roll. Ready, Ronan? Here we go. It's your first snow. Are you confused? There's snow in your eyelashes. What's falling from the sky? My sisters used to say that it was God's dandruff, and when it rained, it was God crying or something. I don't remember, but it is fluffy. Oh my goodness. He's probably like, what the heck, man? I hate this. It's like in my eyes. He's watching the dogs back in the backyard running around and wrestling with each other in the snow. You got little snowflakes in your hair. <laughs> what you think, huh? There they go, around the backyard, running, running, running. Oh, I just landed on your face. Good thing you have those long lashes, huh? He's like, what the heck, man? Bring me back inside. Okay, that's enough for now, but we will enjoy it some other time. I'm sure we'll go sledding or something this season, or come outside and make a tiny, ridiculously small snowman and then go back inside to drink hot cocoa or eggnog or something. But anyways, it was Ronan's first snow. It is December 5th. 2016 and he is eight months old. I'm gonna cry. Back to the present. Ronan is currently eating some yogurt. I believe it's mango, kiwi, pineapple mixed with yogurt. And he's loving it. Oh yeah, he always eats all of his yogurt, which is <coughs> nice, but he does get it everywhere. This bib is tiny. Some of my bibs are ridiculously tiny and they don't even cover his clothes. And not only that, but I usually roll his sleeves up to like here because he wipes his hands and everything all across his face. I don't know if you saw a Snapchat, but I had one a while ago where he had beets on his mouth and he wiped them all over his face and he looked like a murderer, so. Don't hurt your ear, he always scratches. Okay, okay, he scratches and pulls at his ear when he's tired, so I just gotta distract him with enough food. But I wanted to show you guys that my holiday cards they did come in. I should have gotten more because I realized that I counted all the people I need to send them to and I don't have enough. So <laughs> some people are going to have to get some different cards. But these are Happy Holidays, Love, Taylor, and Ronan. And then on the back I put the picture where he's actually smiling and it says, Merry Christmas. We wish we could be with you this holiday season, but since schedules are busy and pockets are tight, we thought we would send this card to say how much we miss you. <coughs> yeah, are you excited about that? It's you. Hope all is well, and that your Christmas season has been filled with joy and good cheer. It's our first Christmas card, and I'm definitely keeping one because it's a memory that I want to remember forever. Yeah, so I used Vistaprint, and I got 20 of them for $20 because it was Cyber Monday, so it was a very, very good deal. And you can do different, like, paper options. I think the one that it comes with is, like, a glossy white one, but I paid a little bit extra to do it on matte recycled paper because... 
I mean, you should use recycled paper. It's just a no-brainer. Gotta keep this earth alive for when our children need it, right? Yeah, I think we're gonna have a difficult day today. Are you gonna be difficult? <laughs> we were just upstairs, and obviously I put this hat on my hair. I changed my sweater and stuff. We were folding laundry, and I was going through all the clothes, like, zero to three months, three to six and stuff that he doesn't need and putting those in a bag and just like switching over his bureau and kind of rearranging for what he wears now. Yeah. And he was trying to play in his pack and play with some toys but not very well. He is just kind of like short of patience today I would say. Um, so I think we're gonna have to kind of like hold him a lot, put him in some different things, distract him, maybe we'll go outside, I don't know, because it is still snowy. There's more snow than there was yesterday. But yeah, it's just us because Stu went to York with Wrigley to see his mom. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Ah. Ah. So it's me and Ronan and Zoe and mom is at work and we're just chilling. It's like 11.30ish I want to say, it's probably not noon yet. And I watched a little bit of Charmed, drinking my mother's milk tea, just chillin'. But I'm thinking we should put him in his bouncer. Unfortunately, sometimes <laughs> he's obsessed with opening this door. Uh, you're supposed to just be bouncing, Ronan. Not opening the door. <laughs> Where are you going? Mischief maker, if you open the door, you'll have nowhere to bounce. Also, you can't even open the door all the way because actually his thing hangs on the track, so it's just going to get stuck halfway, but whatever. If you're entertained, I guess that's fine. Just don't put your fingers in the cracks. Anyways, I decided not to do my hair or makeup today. I just, I don't feel like it really, and so I don't feel very cute. Um, I would feel better. I feel like I used to feel a lot better about how I looked without makeup because I didn't have dark circles. And my skin wasn't like dis not discolored, I guess, discolored. Like under my nose is always red. Like sometimes I'll just go to work and I'll literally just put foundation under my eyes and under my nose. And then I'll leave everything else natural. Um, but I'm just gonna give it a break, let it breathe, let the natural oils soak into my hair. So it feels good. I mean I'm not seeing anyone today as far as I know. But him being here reminds me, last night I put him in here because I do that sometimes. Um, if he doesn't seem super sleepy when he's at the dinner table eating his dinner and he's got a lot of energy, then I'll put him in here so hopefully he can bounce the energy out before he goes to sleep. But we were all in here, cozied up with the heat on, and we were watching The Jungle Book by Disney. And it's like, there's the animated one, which is really good, which I think I've only seen like once in my life. And then this one, which I've seen many times, it's like, yeah, you're gonna watch this. When you're a little older and you can understand it, you don't eat it though. We have it on VHS, so we're going to have to get it on DVD. Um, but we have a huge TV in this room. We have a big TV in that room that has like a DVD player and like Hulu and stuff. And then my friend gave us this huge TV over here. See in that corner there, it has a DVD player and a VHS player. Okay, so he got super sad that I took the movie away from him, but he can't chew on this. Like, it's disgusting. I don't know where this has been. It was in our basement for a while. Um, so I had to sing him a song and, like, balance him around and make him not so sad anymore. I gave him this car, but all I was trying to say is that this movie is amazing. Stu had never seen it, so we wanted to watch it. If you've never seen it, you need to get it and watch it. It's really good. And I was amazed because in the credits in the beginning, it said Lena Headey, or Headley, Headley? I don't remember. But it's the lady who plays Cersei in Game of Thrones. And I was like, wait, she's in this? So I googled it, and I was like, my mind is blown because she's Kitty in this. And, like, I just never realized that whenever I saw her in 300, whenever I saw her in Game of Thrones, I mean, I've watched how many seasons of Game of Thrones and I didn't recognize her, so I told my siblings and they were, like, amazed and... Does that ever happen to you? You just, like, you go back and watch something? Like, I watched, um, what was it, Gilmore Girls? There was an episode with Lane and all these people at her church. And one of them was like a guy from a different TV show like on War that I watched a bunch and I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know he was in this. And it's just like so funny or you're watching CSI or something like that. There's always famous people who were extras on those things and you go back and you see it and you're like, ah, oh, they were such a baby. They were so little. How did I not recognize them? But 
I love it, so. Okay, so we are going to take Zoe out because she's sad. She's all alone without Wrigley. So she's going to go play in the beautiful snow outside. And me and Ronan are matching in our green outfits. His has drool on it. Mine has probably cat hair on it already. And I think there's a swing out there, so I'm just going to see if he wants to swing in it because he can't really go on the ground yet. He has no boots, I realized. And this snow thing has little holes where the feet are. So I don't want his little socks to get wet. <laughs> okay, so I got Ronan strapped into the swing. And Zoe is somewhere back there. Oh, she's running towards us. Hi! <laughs> He's having all kinds of fun in the snow. Yeah, I'm sorry that Wrigley's not here to enjoy it with you. That's nice. Kiss the baby. <laughs> Kisses! She's so good with him, I love it. Um, but yeah, I need to find somewhere to put the camera so I can show you guys me pushing him. He's never been actually in a swing before, so I don't think he's really sure what's happening. He looks so happy. It's a baby. Oh, careful. <laughs> I'm glad he's enjoying this. <laughs> Come on. Choo. Choo. <laughs> Hi. I caught you. I'm letting you go. I caught you. I'm letting you go. I caught you. Letting you go. Well, I'm glad this has distracted him because he was in a bad mood before, let me tell you. Oh, he's grumpy again. Trying to distract him with puffs. He is about to eat this when it cools off. It's got sweet peas, sweet potato, and raspberry pear mixture in it. Yeah, and some oatmeal, too. Gotta thicken this body up. Get some rolls on ya. And then I'm going to eat the leftovers. This was the stuff that was on the squash that we had a while ago. Um, it's got like mushrooms and cranberries and almonds and quinoa. And I put a little bit of butternut squash puree stuff on it just because the squash like sweetens it because there's also some spicy stuff in here. And without the squash, because there's no leftovers, it was just too spicy. So this tastes good. This is for me, for him. This is distraction because he's so grumpy and I'm also watching Lindsay's last Christmas vlog so I love Vlogmas. Vlogmas is awesome. I'm sorry that I'm not doing it this year. I just, it's unrealistic for me to commit to that. I know I can't do it every day. I'm just way too tired. Um, but maybe next year. But I'm loving the fact that all the vlogs that I watch, people are having stuff every day and there's so much stuff to watch. So. You know, Aspen and Parker, Lindsay and Liv, Morgan and Mumsy, they're doing it. Um, just so many people. I think, I don't think Lizzie and Fanny are doing it, but she's pregnant, so, you know, it's kind of hard to get the motivation. I can understand. You just feel so tired. I was so tired when I was pregnant. Um, not that I'm not now, but it's just a different, different kind of tired. Okay, okay, okay. Here's another one. Last night he was eating blueberries, like half of them. And oh my gosh, he got so much better at them since the last time I showed you. He was a champ at eating them. He also had a banana yesterday. He ate like this much of it, like to here, so more than half of it. 
I just had to cut it into tiny pieces and like hand feed it to him because if I put it on the tray he just pushes it off the tray or mushes it in his hand and it's too slippery to get in his mouth um, but he will eat it if I put it in his mouth oh do you want to just hold this you've never touched an actual oh you can't eat the end of that it would be really gross trust me it's a banana yeah it's fruit yellow oh that's your happy noise he grunts when he likes stuff because apparently I don't know if that's just like man language or I don't know what's happening but he always grunts after he eats something he really likes he'll like clench his fists and be like Grr. no do not put that in your mouth <laughs> Where's the baby? <laughs> Where's the baby? <laughs> Rowan is entertaining himself by kicking that. That's right, I'm talking about you. I was trying to like get him to come over here and crawl to this car, but he has no interest. So I'm just going to leave him, I think, on the blanket for a while and put a bunch of toys out and try and get him to crawl. Because practice makes perfect, but apparently this is way more entertaining. Did you know that you could be crawling wherever you wanted? You could be getting in way more trouble than you're getting into right now. Hashtag lazy baby. You can do it. That's right, move your arms. Can't lay down, you won't go anywhere. See? You gotta scooch your boot. Yeah! You moved your leg! Yay! You did something! Go on. Yeah! He is way too grumpy for this right now. I think he's tired. Yeah. So I'm gonna go try and nurse him into a nap. So it has been a while. It is almost four. Um, I tried very hard to get Ronan to go to sleep by nursing him or just rocking him and stuff. He wouldn't. So I eventually ended up making him cry to sleep for like five to ten minutes, which always just breaks my heart. But he needed a nap. Like, he really did. Because the other day he took a nap at four something. And it was terrible. It was making his schedule all weird. And then he woke up from that and he went to bed really, really late, obviously, because that's just a really late nap. Um, so he needed to get a nap in before like 3 o'clock. And he did, so that was good. When he did that, it gave me a chance to work on the dishes and I got a bunch of them done. But this is dirty and all of this stuff is out. Um, because I'm making black bean brownies. So I had the recipe on my phone. I was watching Charmed. And of course this little one decided to wake up right when I actually started like rinsing the black beans and really like I haven't even done anything to the food yet. So it's all out and now I need to make it and he's still kind of grumpy and as you can see he's kind of tired still so I don't know how that's going to go. I'm going to try to put him in his walker and let him walk around. I'm not sure if he'll let me but fingers crossed. I guess he's happy to roam about, so that's awesome. That means I might actually get some stuff done. Oh, but I need to close this door. Bronx likes to go in the cellar, so I leave it open sometimes, but... He loves to go down this hallway here, and then he just kind of looks in here, diddles with stuff in here. I mean, there's just books, so it's pretty safe. And then he makes his way over here and gets into trouble, but it's safe, so why not let him? Um, he's gonna run over the cat, though. <laughs> And I'm gonna go make brownies. I'm baby wearing quite obviously as you can tell from the video. 
Ronan is enjoying his reflection. He thinks he's so handsome. Ha ha ha! Is that you? Is that you? He says, wow, I'm really good looking. I don't usually... <laughs> <laughs> I don't baby wear that often anymore because it's so difficult. Like, he's heavy on my back. I can't do things like the dishes. Um, the minute I have him on me, I have to go pee, stuff like that. But it's fine. We ended up being able to get the brownies into the oven with some maneuvering. I cannot wait to eat those tonight. But I think I'm going to end the vlog, like wrap it up right now, just because I want to get some stuff done and I keep on forgetting that I'm supposed to be vlogging anyways. Um, <laughs> But I want to ask you guys a question of the day because I haven't done that in a while. And my question today to you guys to comment down below is what is your favorite like holiday tradition? Because it doesn't, I mean, some of you might not do Christmas, some of you might do Hanukkah, I don't know. Um, yeah, just tell me what your favorite tradition is down below. My stepbrother and sister, they used to do, um, they would hide a pickle ornament in the tree and then on Christmas, Whoever found the pickle ornament first got to open the first present. He's looking at himself again. Oh my goodness. So cute. <laughs> my favorite tradition, um, I'm not thinking very hard about it, so maybe I'll find a different one later, but off the top of my head, my mom used to always give us one present the night before Christmas, so Christmas Eve. And a lot of the time it might be like pajamas and then we could wear them to sleep and it was awesome. Oh, ow, my chin. So I'm going to definitely do that for Ronan when he's big enough. Um, but yeah, let me know what yours are. And he is apparently still sleepy, so that nap was just not good enough. It was not very long. I hope he gets a good night's sleep. I hope you guys get a good night's sleep wherever you are. And we will see you next vlog. Bye, guys.